guys welcome back to our channel today's video is going to be a what we eat in a day but just a little disclaimer <laughs> we're not feeling great um the weather's not great i feel like mm -hmm. that's having a big impact like it's very sluggish outside it's very sluggish inside yeah but i feel very just mm. yeah not feeling anything but we're trying to fill our day still with some colorful wholesome food to just give us some energy give us a bit something to do that's positive <laughs> yeah i finished my exams and i'm just feeling a bit lost um, I think that's normal though. I don't know if you guys felt like it's such, and I've had a grade back today and I did really, really well. Got another first, but equally, I've, I don't know, I'm just not feeling mm. it. We are still in partial what? lockdown and it is obviously very different for us like, fitting yeah. around the fam. Even fitting around each other. Like, because yeah. at uni we used to make our own meals. Sometimes we'd cook together. A lot of the time, but, yeah. Yeah, family meals. Food goes a lot quicker. As soon as you buy it, the chocolate's gone, yeah. the crisps have gone, which is probably a good thing, but um, <laughs> it's yeah, just still getting used to it. been factoring in, and I think for next year, obviously, we touched in on it. In our last video, the fact that I'm going to be living at home as well for next year. And I think there's going to be We're going to bring changes. in some shelves. Mm -hmm. Like at uni, you have your own shelf, your own cupboard. I think that I needs think, to happen. I think it's necessary. <laughs> so I really hope you enjoy this vid, and please yeah. give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. Hopefully we'll get some coffee in the system as well as food because <laughs> honestly I generally feel like I need five. I've just quickly made this. Um, I've got my classic oats with a load of granola on because I hate the texture of normal oats with a load of fruit from my lovely fruit lady. Um, and then I've just made my favourite um, iced coffee. Um, I wasn't really feeling a normal coffee. And then Ames made a bagel thin with Nutella on, a smoothie. Hey, it's now, gosh, it's so dark in it. This is the reflection of the weather. We're doing our rooms this weekend. But yeah, we're gonna have a full glow up room wise. And us wise. us wise. But it is now lunchtime, it's like half one, and we are very hungry. I've finished hungry. work, so I can actually talk to you properly now, hopefully. Um, but yeah, I think we're feeling pizza wraps. It's a bit cliche for our channel. I it's a bit of a staple. I want a bit of a cliche. No, okay. It's a staple. But we have made them just so a fair quick few and, times. Quick and easy, tasty, and they're quite filling as well. Okay, these are the ingredients. We've sort of we thought we had more toppings than we do, actually, but this is what you need as your base. You can use pita bread, but we just use wraps, cheese. Um, tomato puree and we've got some cherry tomatoes and some salami that we're just going to pretend is pepperoni this is the game this is the key though. these two combinations definitely. are everything this is from Sainsbury's and definitely use this on like even if you have a normal pizza just a little drizzle, drizzle makes all the difference all the difference yeah have you seen that tiktok with the dogs or the baby food challenge I'm going to try it with Yogi Dogs, come in okay we have our child and we have the cookie so Yogi wait I'm going to leave this here and you can only have it when I come back, okay? I'm gonna leave the room. Wait, excuse me, we've not started the challenge yet. We'll go, wait, wait, wait. Oh, good girl, good girl, you can have it now. Oh, she literally just looked at me as soon as she saw me. She had it. You didn't take her eyes off you. Oh. Say hi to the vlog. Oh, your cushion's the wrong way around. Bear hug cushion. She eats these really weirdly at home. She like plays with them and then breaks them down. Oh, you're the cutest. You're the cutest little bear. Back to We're what we eat in a day, not what Yogi eats in a day. Um. So I thought, again, we had more wraps than this because we're going to have to fight over who gets the second one. I just said I'd have one. Dad can have two. I want two, though. That's the <laughs> issue. Tough. Just put more <laughs> toppings on. 
Um, I've also tried barbecue sauce as like a base layer. That's really nice. Mixes it up. Texas barbecue Domino's vibes. Oh, um, I miss that. We but yeah, if you haven't one. tried these, these are actually so good and crispy. And, and I'm sure if we did track calories, they'd be pretty macro friendly. friendly. lunch was really good highly oh it's just oh, turn you off oh i don't like it too many emails okay lunch was good highly recommend however don't know about you guys but i always need something sweet after lunch um i don't know what it is my latest addiction has been oh, how is it still notifying me when it's it's literally shut my latest addiction has definitely been um, the candy kittens, sour watermelons, however I have run out of those so I'm having to settle for a basic squares bar and a coffee because I've now got to start revision, still going with that, it's not a joke um, and my last exam is an accounting one and I actually need some brain brains for them, I can't just like sit in bed and like cosy up and do work like I have to be awake. So we've got the coffee and some sugar to keep us going. Okay, now we've leaving the revision <laughs> gal to do her thing. We're gonna go and do something fun and I'm gonna show you my brownie recipe that's healthier um, and really easy to make, so yeah. So disclaimer, I didn't actually come up with this myself. Um, it's a recipe I tried um, last week from the Tone & Sculpt um, guide. We're actually doing a free trial at the minute, just doing it for us, we're not posting about it, but I did want to share this recipe because I did think it was absolutely insane. Quick and easy, so I thought I'd share it with you. Um, we may or may not do some more Tone and School updates in the future, but we're not holding ourselves to do that. Um, we're just really enjoying it and trying something different. We even got the little board to match. Wow. Okay, so all you need is Nutella, an egg and some self-raising flour. It's dead easy. It tells you you just need well you can see what you need and then the method it takes 15 minutes to make in the oven so it's kind of like a microwave cake but obviously an oven one and sometimes the microwave mug cakes they don't always bake so i really like this because it's in the oven here we go i've just added the tiniest bit of ben and jerry's ice cream i know it's not part of the recipe um it's more of a balanced brownie i wouldn't say a healthy brownie anymore um but yeah i'm gonna go eat this and carry on living my best lockdown revision free life look at this Look who's trying it. Mm. It's quite a big portion, guys, but it is amazing. Fully amazing. I was just going to eat the remnants of this. Wow. Log. It's quite warm still, though. Yeah. You should let it. I did have to do it longer than 15 minutes, so it was kind of like a long process, but... What would you rate it? Compared to fibre one. Mm. So it. much better, isn't it? Mm. So, it's just gone half past six. I've been working since we last spoke, and... I have volunteered. I've just stepped up to cook this. I don't think I've ever cooked anything so elaborate in my life. We've got a crispy sea bass and chips, but like homemade wedges they look like. So this is from the HelloFresh subscription. Okay, the dishwasher, not even the dishwasher, the washing machine needs to just calm down. Um, this is from our HelloFresh subscription that we've been getting since a while ago from the start of lockdown ish and we're now doing it every other week sort of thing but basically i'll leave a link to the website in the description box not sponsored at all but it'll just give you a gist of what it's about but yeah they send you all the ingredients and then each recipe changes the which you can select each week so it's actually quite fun however this just looks a bit too challenging and i'm quite tired but i've not done that much today so i thought I just challenge myself really and yeah I'm gonna get the ingredients out now and then just like have a read through maybe highlight like it's it's a real task 
I've managed to source all our ingredients. There's quite a lot, as I said, very elaborate dish. You can probably simplify this without all the breadcrumbs and just do like a simple fish, carb, and my micronutrients or veggies on the side as opposed to this but we're gonna give it a go it's gonna it, well that definitely looks tasty so we've got our sea bass tomatoes the breadcrumbs to go on top i've never heard of capers in my life before so i don't actually know what they are lemon garlic sugar snaps potatoes for the wedges and baby leaf salad and then i will be using our staple salt and pepper mix from sainsbury's I'm not giving probably the best impression of HelloFresh because it does look very complicated. However, it has been so good for our family evening meals. And like this is the recipe, so it always breaks it down into like six or five steps. And to be fair, they've been so yummy and we would never usually cook this. So we've been able to try new foods as well. I wasn't joking when I said I was going to get the highlighter out, but we've made it through the first step. These are my wedges, so they're going to go in the oven for 30 minutes but again i feel like they need a bit longer but i've just drizzled with olive oil and salt and pepper which is what we usually do a little update i've no idea how i'm doing for timings but this is what the fish looks like before going in the oven um not to show off but it looks pretty bougie i can't lie so it says to do this for like 50 gosh you're steaming up it says to do this for 15 minutes in the oven um so hopefully the wedges are doing okay. Hopefully we can bring it all together. I feel like that's going to be the hardest part, like getting my timings right. So as a comparison, I think, I think I've done a pretty good job, except the salad wasn't really fitting on the plate. So I've just done a side salad instead, but pretty impressed. We've just finished having dinner now. It's around half past eight and I don't think I'm gonna eat any more. So I think it's time to end today's video, but really hope you've enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you in our next vid.